Hey guys, Will here, and this video is on how to breed giant mealworms. And before we get started, I'll just show you what one actually looks like. I got a few, um, it's a bit of shed. I got a few, um, cockroaches in here at the moment too. Uh, just because, like, when I'm feeding my dragons, sometimes they don't eat all of them, so I just put them here, it's easy. This is what a giant mealworm looks like. Now the difference between a normal mealworm and a giant is they're a lot harder to breed and they are obviously uh, bigger. So um, in Australia we don't have a choice. We only have giant mealworms, I'm pretty sure. But in America, um, I just go with the normal mealworms. Uh, so firstly, you just want to get a fishing container just to hold lures or sinkers in. And you want to put them in each separate compartment. And then they'll eventually turn into these, which are called pupaes. And they're little weird looking things like... They're pretty weird. Uh, and once they've been in there for a while, uh, I'll just try and run one. For like a week or so they'll get... Oh, that's a bad example. Oh, where was it? Um, they'll get like black eyes and that's when you'll know that they'll turn into or they're about to turn into a beetle which I think I have one at the moment yeah there he is uh, they'll turn into like a white one of these and then they'll take another few days to turn into a black one and once they've been in there for like to uh, three weeks. Um, they take a long time to die, so I just like put them out in your backyard or something, or kill them, whatever. Or fancy dragons, maybe, if you want to, uh, or whatever reptiles you're breeding these for. Um, so yeah, what I've got at the bottom here is just some old. This is really old, like oatmeal, and um, the reason I put it in here is because. Uh, sometimes they die, uh, and it's like a waste for mealworm, so if you give them something to eat, then hopefully they won't die on you. Um, but firstly, before they turn into the pupae, they'll curl up into a C shape, like this guy, and that'll happen in about a week, and then a week and a half, four to two weeks, they'll turn into pupae, and then another two weeks, they'll turn to the beetle. And you only want to uh, move them when they actually are fully into the white beetle because if you transfer them while they're like still this, sometimes uh, they can go deformed and stuff. Um, and yeah, it doesn't turn out very well. So let's put these back. It's best to keep them in a dark area. Uh, I heard that that. Let's put it in there for a second. Uh, if you keep them in a dark area, uh, they a dark, warm area, they will evolve, or how, whatever you want to call it, a lot quicker. And just a tip for you guys, if you ever have a giant mealworms and you find, ones that's, find one that's freshly shed, this is the best time to feed them to your dragons because then they can't get impacted from... Uh, the shell, so I'll feed it to this little guy, who's the last guy for sale. He's a little high foot at the minute. Let's see if he eats it. It's a little big, but because it's shadow, it'll be fine. Alright, so, if you're interested in this guy, um, then just contact me, but you have to live in Australia, as you guys probably know, because you can't, uh, ship, uh, exotic reptiles from Australia to any other country because it's illegal. Um, so, yeah, um, that's pretty much, pretty much it on breeding giant mealworms. It's a pretty long process. But 
after a while, you just don't even worry about them. You just check on them, like, every two weeks anyway. So, yeah, um, if you don't know how to house them, you just get them in, like, the stuff that you buy them in. You can buy them in, like, hundreds and stuff. Uh, and then you just feed them potatoes. Like this. It's pretty easy. And they don't stink as much as uh, cockroaches do. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.